Uh, hey guys, uh, what's going on? Comfy Neat here. Um, today, I wanted to talk about something that I'm 100% sure I have and that I'm confident has ruined my life in a lot of ways. And that would have to be social anxiety. And social anxiety, I feel, is something that not all needs, but I'd say maybe 90 to 95% of needs suffer from because while it has, it has life altering consequences and generally makes people live a much lesser quality of life as I feel it has made me. And yeah, it's ruined my life. Um, how has it done this? It's gotten in the way of me forming meaningful connections with other people and um you know connections in this world are everything you know what's that corny saying your net your network is your net worth and you can't really have a network when you have social anxiety or not a meaningful one at least because well either people don't want to spend time with you or the people that go out of their way to spend time with you. Generally speaking, because there are exceptions to this rule, but the people who spend time with you are people who sense your vulnerability and that you could potentially be exploited because you're, you know, I, maybe they can sense that you don't have a lot of friends, but yeah. Because of this, oftentimes you either spend time with people that, uh, you know, look down on you or you end up like me and need alone in his basement for most of the time and um yeah it's definitely uh pretty depressing but how does it do this you might ask well it you know it's basically it messes with with, with the fuck sorry <laughs> i was like a tape machine jamming just now but um it messes with the way you think and specifically how you think about yourself and what you think others are thinking about you and basically it's like it makes you so afraid of what other people are thinking and it makes you think the worst case scenario which can be true a lot of the time but is not always true a lot of the times at least you know maybe the first time you meet someone Things might be neutral, but automatically you're assuming that there's something wrong with you. And this can be anything. It can be physical appearance. It can be the way you talk. It can be just something about you, specifically something outward that's showing. And you automatically assume that the person you're interacting with is judging you. And what does this do? It makes you act in a way that's really, um, I don't know, really weird and creepy and you're almost like it messes it affects your body language and it affects your um i don't know the way you talk like you kind of shut down and oh, oh yeah or you might go oh yeah huh? or i don't know it just makes you have low self-esteem and as a consequence of that people can sense that and they find it off-putting or they find it as something to exploit mostly people find it off-putting and um you know stay away from you because yeah and as a consequence of this um well yeah um it's been hard to make friends it's you know i guess some people have tried to you know make friends with me in real life um throughout my existence but because of my social anxiety and the things that I think about myself because what do I think about myself I think oh you know I'm ugly I'm I, I sound weird I'm unlikable I I'm a fucking loser I'm I'm a beta I'm whatever this and that and you're thinking these things and you're thinking oh this person sees that in me so well you act accordingly it's a self-fulfilling prophecy and just makes you so anxious and you're not paying attention to what the other person in front of you is saying and you know it makes you seem disinterested sometimes like 
it can make you act in a way that is very similar to Asperger's. So, you know, maybe I don't have Asperger's. Maybe this is what I'm suffering from um, immensely. And it makes you overthink the way you act. And because of that, um, well, for me at least, um, I keep talking in the third person. I don't know why I do this, but yeah, for me, yeah, it just makes me um, really afraid to, yeah, um, you know, take risks socially. I might, I might think of a funny joke, but I'm too afraid to say it because of uh, I'm afraid of what other people might think. They might think it's not funny. They might think it's stupid. They might judge me. And, you know, another person might say this joke and everybody might laugh. Or and that's when you know that all the, the whole time, it was in my head, it was just a stupid thought. Or um, I may not say what's on my mind and it'll make me feel really shitty that I didn't say what I had to say in the moment. And I'm waiting for the perfect time to say something sometimes, or I'm, um, I'm afraid to say it. And then the, and I'm building up the courage to say what I want to say but then it doesn't come out because I'm paralyzed with fear and, or I'm just, you know, trying to get over something that is really not a big deal. And if I just said it right then and there, it probably wouldn't be such a big deal. Or when I try and say it, because I've been hyping it up in my head for so long that I have to build up courage and make effort to say it. I just, I just st 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 stutter or, you know, I, you know what I mean? Like that feeling where you just try and say something. Fuck. You try and say something and you end up sounding like a fool, like a clown. That's social anxiety thinking right there. What I just did. It's so obvious looking from the outside in. But when you're the one going through it, it's impossible in the moment sometimes because it just sucks you in and. It's almost like there's nothing you can do about it. And the only thing really is to expose yourself to other people. I know that's what I need to do, but I'm so afraid because, yeah, another thing is that it's made me replay social situations in my head and, um, you know, see things, replay memories in the worst case scenario, even things that might have been pretty neutral or even positive. I. I see them in this way that's very negative and, you know, pessimistic. I doubt myself and I think, wow, I just don't give myself the benefit of the doubt. And it just reinforces it. And because I um, consistently replayed the memory in my head like that, it almost becomes a part of my identity. It adds to my identity, the idea that I'm a loser and unlikable, and it shapes my identity in a way that causes the social anxiety to get worse and worse. And it's a never ending cycle that eventually gets to the point where you become needy. You're in your room all the time, afraid of interacting with people. I dread going to the grocery store. And because of that, because of me isolating myself, I've lost more of my social skills. And this has made it even harder for me to uh, do things like interact with strangers. I can interact with people I know over time. A little bit better but if i don't see someone for a while i end up regaining my social anxiety for them and yeah it's just fucking sucks and um what else is there to say about social anxiety um it well there is my timer and to stop me from talking too long so i just try and think of maybe one more thing to say about social anxiety um, yeah, it's gotten in the way of me making friends with people who might actually be good for me and for people, uh, even it's, um, made it really hard for me to get into relationships <laughs> with the opposite gender because I'm doubting myself and, you know, I guess females can sense that stuff and it definitely plays a part in it, I feel. So yeah, uh, that's just my two cents on social anxiety and 
um, you know, what it's like <coughs> to go through it from my perspective. And yeah, uh, I'm hoping you guys can relate and maybe throw in some advice if possible, whatever floats your boat. Um, if you guys liked what you've watched, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below and um, hope you guys have a good day or whatever I'm supposed to say. And yeah, this is Comfy Neat signing out. There it is.